Hi guys, welcome to RPA Feed. Today, we are going to see how to install UiPath. Okay, uh, as you can see on my screen, I have logged into cloud.uipath.com. I have used here my Hotmail account. You can use whichever account you want. They give a lot of option to connect to cloud.uipath.com portal using your Gmail account, Microsoft account, and there are various other options as well. Okay, so once you log in and uh, or if you are if you're new, just create an account on um, cloud.uipath.com and once you log in here this this is the landing page this is the home page that you will get and you'll get an option here to download studio just click on this and uh, msi installer file will be uh, downloaded and you'll be able to see it in this way i have already clicked on download and this file got downloaded uipath studio community okay so right click on this and say install so the just follow the installer now. Uh, there's an installation wizard uh, which is asking us few options to select. First of all, you need to read the license agreement and accept it. Uh, there are two options now. Quick, rem recommended for community users and custom, recommended for enterprise or advanced user. So uh, let me choose this option. Quick anyways, we know it's uh, it will install the studio with the default settings. If you want to quickly build a bot and want to quickly do the setup, you can use this option. But let's do a custom installation for now um, selection of the installation mode so I'll say install for all the users on this computer you can choose any any of them now it is asking for installation package so I am a like I want to use it for the development activity so basically I want to choose this option otherwise if you want only attended robot then you can go for this or unattended robot and you can go for this button so let me click on install I'll fast forward this. So this will ask for some pop-ups for extension and also you need to select accordingly. So once the everything is uh, completed, it will show you like the setup is complete and now you can launch the studio, UiPath Studio. So as soon as you click on the launch UiPath Studio, it is just setting your environment for the first time usage. That's why it is trying to set it up. And it, it will initially take a little more time here we can just type in cloud.uipath.com and click on sign in so it will try to authenticate you with the cloud.uipath.com URL and I'm connected to the tenant and I'll go for uipath studio So as you can see here, the studio is launched and you get this view. You can see the version of the community edition. And you can start creating a project, like new project, a library or a test automation or a template. So there are a lot of boilerplate code or starter templates that you can choose from to build your automation. Generally for building up automation, we start with process, right? So blank process, I'll say first bot. This is my first bot. And I'll say you can also select the location that you want to choose from the language. I'll go with C sharp com compatibility mode windows and create. If you like to go for th with VB as a language, you can choose VB also. So that's how the studio designer would be loaded up and it will create your all the files and uh, like first bot the designer view for your creating your first bot will be loaded up so it's creating a workspace for you to work on so whenever you create a bot right main.xml main.xaml right, .xaml extension that we pronounce at xaml so all these files right if you click here in the project tab all these files are independencies are added so whenever you create a first bot this is your process and main.xaml is the file where you'll be adding your sequences and the code related to your bot file and this project.json will have your uh, all the information of your project the configurations and all in a json format and all the dependencies are also loaded so let me drag it let me go to activities panel and let me just print a message i'll go search for message box activity and let me double click this or i can drag and drop as well so I'll just write text here as 
this is my first bot in UI path. Okay. Now let me save this bot and run this file. So while running a bot also there are multiple options. We'll, we'll come to that later. Let's see this bot running now. It's building the project, compiling the steps. There are only one activity. So it should give us a message box. So as you can see here, this is my first bot in UiPath. Okay, you got this message box. So that is all about installing UiPath and just running your first bot. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.